How's it going, viewers? Mr. Incredible is back and he's rolling with the punches, baby! Welcome to Incredible Runner, guys. We're checking out one last video for today. But this is not my last video for today overall. This will be my last reaction. Then I'll be doing a really fun parody video later on today. It's going to be really funny and don't take it seriously. It's going to be like a little joke, honestly, because it's not really my opinions, though. It's not really my opinions, but it doesn't matter. Just look forward to that later. But we're going to be checking out a video titled Watch a Man Get Chopped Into Bits and Survive. Now, the real question, the million dollar question is, do you believe in magic? Yes, I do, because as a kid, I watched shows like The Magic Roundabout, so I do believe in magic, and I am in love with Trixie from My Little Pony, and she's magic, so yeah. My mom likes to call me her little Houdini, so I guess I'm kind of magic, because as a kid, I used to sneak out of school all the time, like crawling out of windows and stuff because I was I just disappeared <laughs> just like Houdini but either way let's check out this video this might be a bit too graphic for the kids so I will age restrict this because I don't think this because the title doesn't sound very appealing for the kids so don't worry I'll age restrict this but you teenagers can watch this with me so let's get into this one two three react also thank you Captain Hampton for requesting this an industrial wood chipper capable of reducing whole trees to dust in a matter of seconds understood just imagine what it could do to a body. I don't- I do not want to imagine. Here come the girls. Oh yeah, we are definitely age restricting this. There's a dangerous escape coming up. Appropriately enough, the magician has a solid pine box in the shape of a coffin headed straight toward the woodshed. Yeah, that ain't sus at all. RPM blades. You can probably guess what he's got in mind. We know this guy is pretty twisted. I can tell. Under no circumstances should you attempt anything you're about to see. Wait, how how on earth is he gonna survive? Sure enough, he heads straight for the coffin. Let's hope he's not headed to an early grave. Okay. His assistants are all too eager to help seal him inside the pine box. Yeah. Maybe he's not so easy to work for. The lid goes into place. The teeth continue to grind. The magician sticks his hands through two hand holes. The lid is fastened with screws as his hands are secured with a pair of regulation police handcuffs. Oh my gosh. Escape from the coffin even more difficult. I don't even want to think about what's going to happen next. The grinding teeth of that wood chipper are less than 30 feet away. Do you think the magician plans to escape before he and the box are ground into garden mulch? I hope. There's no way he's going to go in there. In motion, cruising down the conveyor and directly at the spinning blades. <laughs> Less than 10 feet to go and he's still trapped inside. This is too dangerous. His hands are free, but someone better let him out. This is one continuous camera shot. The box isn't stopping. It's being sucked into the steel jaws. I can't bear to watch. The chipper is turning the coffin and its occupant into shreds. So long, mass man. What? I didn't even get a chance to thank him for all the laughs. But wait, who's this? Can it be? The masked magician. He stared death in the face and won again. How? So how does the magician escape the coffin and the handcuffs before it's fed? Please explain. The blades of the 220 horsepower wood chipper. There's a secret, but this is still a very dangerous trick. Again, do not try this at home. Failure would result in a horrifying death. Yeah. This is a real wood chipper, and the pine coffin is actually being reduced to tiny flakes of wood. But the masked magician knows he'll make it out in time. The assistants use real screws to fasten the lid in place. Uh -huh. The handcuffs, on the other hand, aren't so real. Oh. That's why he's confident he'll escape before he's chopped to pieces. The handcuffs are rigged to open with the slightest pressure. Here's another look. Quick snap of the wrists, and he's out. The truth shall set you free, and so will phony cuffs. Oh. Not huh. very sporting of him, but then again, he's going to minimize the danger. The magician is free of the handcuffs, but still headed for certain doom. But he's 
not worried since the coffin has a secret trap door along one side. But this secret panel allows him an instant escape. How do you do that? For free, all he has to do is flip open the door and jump out of the box. A thick pad breaks his fall only seconds before the box is chewed to shreds. But he was inside the. No, no, but like that. I, 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 Soft landing. But how did he teleport from there inside where the wood is chipped? That's why we never see his escape. Beneath the conveyor belt is a mirror that reflects the ground. We never see anyone walk in front of the mirror like this. So the illusion is very convincing. When you look closely from this angle, you can see the mirror vibrating as the coffin enters the chipper. Of course, you're so distracted by the destruction, we don't even bother to notice. Yeah. And For realsies. Escape route. He crawls from the crash mat across the ground and along the back side of the chipper. While we're looking at the shooting shards of wood, he's making his way into the cab of the truck. Driver's door is open and ready for his arrival. From the front seat, it's just a short hop into the back of the truck. A black curtain hides the magician until it's time for him to make his appearance. He sneaks out and strikes a pose, offering relief to those who feared the worst. Wow. I mean... I mean, okay, that was impressive. I, <gasps> my mind had so much to process there. Okay, I'm definitely gonna age restrict this because of the because of the terrible imagery you saw and the fact that there are and the fact that the assistants are wearing some very provocative outfits. So I'm have to age restrict this. But my point is that was impressive, and I thought like Trixie's moonshot manticore. Oh, the moonshot manticore mouth dive from season six was insane because she actually went inside the mouth of a manticore, got eaten, but then she just teleported in the, you know, the safety box. That was impressive because that could have involved, you know, casualty. But this was just a whole new level of just pure insanity. <laughs> y'all, y'all request me the, what, the wildest videos, but you know what? I approve of it. That was really good. But don't worry, dude, this is not my last video for today. This is my last reaction, but look forward later for a really fun parody video on nostalgia critic style on Generation 5 of My Little Pony. You will love it. Either way, I shall see you all in the next video. If you're a particular one, leave a like on it. Don't forget to subscribe. If you're interested, follow me on Instagram, link down below. And until then, stay positive, keep calm, stay safe, be incredible. And as always, Brony on. Peace.